Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to give you five critical tips that will help you become a better swing trader and a day trader. The first one, this is our I Love Stocks website. If you ever want to look it up, it's ilovestocks.com. The link will be below the video after I finish this. And please stop at any, any time if you want to write some of these criteria down. Copy and paste any of them. So the first five rules I go by that make me become a better day trader. And that's going to be the number one is patience. Number two is the news. Number three is technical analysis. Number four is the mood I'm in. And number five is the trading platform and setup that I use. So we'll go straight with number one, patience. Patience is a virtue that is vital to success in trading. A large amount of patience is acquired in order to go through the learning curve. Patience to wait for the trade to come to you and that will hit all the variables that you have aligned in your system or your trading plan. And patience is probably one of the best rules that I've learned in my lifetime is let that trade come to you and don't try to chase it unless certain criteria are hit and you know it's pure body and that thing's going to just run straight up. So the second one, after patience, is news. News is a very important criteria that I look for when I'm making a trade. Earnings, the different forms that are filed with the SEC, uh, the upgrades or any downgrades or any uh, future forecasts, any new lawsuits that have come out, any old lawsuits. News is one of the first things I look at when I get into a trade. I look at the news and I also look at the technical analysis. Number three, money flow technical analysis. That's very important for me to understand. You got to have the technical analysis. I mean, you, you need to know the price action, the movement, movement of the security, uh, the tape, the time in sales, you know, the level two technical analysis of the stocks like candlesticks, chart patterns, finding the supports and the pivot points and the resistances of a trade on a yearly, daily, up to a 20 day, one hour, or even up to a daily one minute. Um, price action comes with uptrends and it also comes with downtrends. So knowing which way the market is moving, being in the now, that includes knowing the news and knowing the pivot points and the, the news, you know, knowing what's going on around you, knowing how Wall Street feels and how the, the private sector is doing. So those are very important to me. And the next one we're going to talk about is going to be the mood that you want to be in, how to improve a trading mood, eat healthy and sleep well. Never stop learning, you know, by reading informative publications learning from YouTube. Um, and one of my best virtues, one of the best things that I've ever taught was learning from beginners and learning through experienced traders. But it's the beginners that have taught me more, I think, because it's made me learn more. It's made me study more. Things that I didn't know, questions I was asked, I looked them up. I studied them. I, every week I have a new case study. So I'm always learning. You'll never stop learning doing this business. If you have, you become complacent. And I've talked about complacency in a trade or being complacent as a trader. You just can't do that because the market is always potentially moving in different directions. So being in the now, eating healthy, getting sleep, sleep well, you know, treat yourself right. Uh, don't punish yourself on a bad trade because everybody has them. Just come back and fight a little harder and just do in-depth research and analysis. Always keep reading, always keep learning and meditate and exercise. I meditate all day long when I'm in a trade, after I'm out of a trade or even before I get into a trade. And I'm always exercising. I have a full-time job at night that keeps me pretty active. So I'm in pretty good shape for the age that I am. And, and those are ways to help your mood. 
And then the next and the last one that's most important to me is having the right setup, having the Pacific trading platforms. Always use more than one platform. Have two in case one stalls out on you or one has technical difficulties. None of them are the same. They all have their pros and they all have their cons. So if you're able to pick out certain platforms that will help you with the trades that you want to make, that's the best thing for you. I personally, I use U-Stock Trade for scalping. I use Ameritrade for scalping and swinging. And I use Tastyworks for options only. And my setup, you know, what kind of setup? Let me find it here. There we go. This is my setup. I have eight monitors. I have the TV and the black ground blasting on stock channel in case any news comes up on a trade or a security that I need to know about. And I kind of, I used to watch CNBC every day, eight hours a day, but I just kind of put them on mute now because they, they've got so negative. But I still use them for knowing what's kind of going on in the market. I also have my apple on my left, my coffee pot, in case I need to rush and have me a coffee during the day. I've got my main computer in front of me that runs four monitors. It's fast. It's real fast. It's custom made for trading stocks. Gaming computers are great to use. And then on the right, I have where I have my Discord hooked up, and I can be able to talk on the mic through Discord in the chat room. And I also have that monitor above it where I can look up stocks and information or, you know, play games or whatever I need to do to keep occupied. I also have my little ukulele sitting next to me and my guitar behind me in case I want to play a tune and I want to take a little break. And then also about midday, sometimes I get up and I'll go use the exercise room, try to get a little exercise in. But that's my setup. And that's my platforms. Now, I'm going to run through these five criteria one more time. And also, I wanted to show up on the website that we we have a um well let me pull up the website here here we have what you call trader tools you open up that window and you can go to stock portal it brings up this room right here i've typed in facebook when i was talking about the uh, the fundamentals and knowing what trade you're going to be in right here we have the size of float we need to know we have the chart right here we have the the kind of block trades that are coming in and the block trades that are coming in are they look kind of like this right here you know it just tells you the money value the flow that's going into it and then we have the SEC filings that are on the left or on the right and put that back down and then down here below that I have my news so I know what kind of news is popping up and this is on our website and if you go to Trader Tools we also have stock scans on here that you can use and then we have a few of our top traders that are on here also but basically I use this stock portal and I type in a ticker let's type in AMD it might take a few seconds for it to come up but there you are it tells you what price you're at it tells you that kind of floats so technical analysis is very important and to know the block trades and the SEC filings that have come in and also the news is all important to me when I make a trade. And if all of them are hitting, you know, hitting a high note, it makes my me more confident in the trade I'm going to make. So let's go back and run this over one more time. Five things you need to know to become a good swing or day trader. The number one rule I mentioned was patience, the news, being in the now, Follows with the news. Technical analysis is number three. Money flow, the tape, the block trades, the price action, chart patterns, candlestick patterns, etc. Just having your technicals down along with 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 that and knowing the news and having patience and being in a good mood and what can put you in a good mood. You know, I always come in here very happy and very smiley. And I usually go to bed smiling because I'm usually 99% in the green. When the market is red is one of my sayings, I am always green. And then having the right trading platform and the right setup. So those are the five rules. I appreciate you watching this video. Please follow us on our stock twits. 
You can hit us right here. We also have a Twitter link right here. You can hit us and follow us. Vegas is always in here putting up alerts. We know we had the SPX. I called that SPX pullback at 28.37.82 before it happened, and bam, it went right back there, and it bounced right after hours. And she's always putting other stuff in here, helping us out. And then also we have our stock twits. You can follow us on stock twits. This is Vegas's account. Also, we have mine right here. Hit and Hit that subscribe button, follow us. We post alerts in there. And we have our Pintergeist link right here where you can follow us on Pintergeist. We're also on that. And then we also have our Facebook and our YouTube. And if you ever want to write to us, you can hit that link right there. So this is I Love Stocks. Five things to know to become a great swing trader and a great day trader. I love stocks.